As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, it is Monday and today we have the most incredible recipe to kick off the week. Like seriously, this is a dish I just recently discovered a couple weeks ago and after making it the first time, I have been obsessing about it every day because it is that good. We're talking Spanish beans with paprika and piquillo peppers, which are basically a type of Spanish roasted red bell peppers. And let me tell you, this dish has so many beautiful layers of flavors to it. It's very healthy for you and it's all done in just 30 minutes, folks. You can serve these Spanish beans as a side dish next to some grilled fish or even better as a main course next to a crunchy baguette to mop up all that goodness. Either way, this is truly one of the best tasting dishes I have ever tried in my life. Let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan, heating it with a medium heat, and adding in about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna finely chop one small onion, and roughly chop four cloves of garlic. After heating the olive oil for a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in the chopped onion and the chopped garlic. And we'll mix the onion and garlic around. That way it's evenly coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I like to mix this continuously. That way the veggies don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and that garlic is lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in a generous teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams. And one tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is about 15 milliliters. And let me tell you, the minute that sherry vinegar hits that pan, an incredible aroma comes out of it. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprika that I'm using in this recipe is from Kiva, truly one of the best ones in the market. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then I'm going to add in one cup of tomato sauce, which is 225 grams. And we'll give this a mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together, and then simmer that tomato sauce. As always, the tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce here, or even passata. While the tomato sauce is simmering, let's start getting our beans ready. I'm gonna be using jarred butter beans here, which is the same thing as the canned ones. I'm gonna add them into a sieve, and we'll rinse the beans under some cold running water. That way later on when we add them into the pan, they can absorb all the flavors. Now the size of the jar that I'm using is 570 grams, which becomes 400 grams once it's strained, or two and a half cups of cooked butter beans. After simmering the tomato sauce for about four minutes, and as you can see, it's slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in the drained butter beans. and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. No need to add any sugar here. To cut the acid from the tomato sauce, we are using fresh tomatoes. However, if you're using canned tomato sauce, add in a little pinch of sugar. And we'll give this a mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together, and it's very important to be gentle here, otherwise you can easily break those beans apart. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna add in half a cup of vegetable broth, which is 120 milliliters. The one that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the I card above and description box below. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. And we're gonna simmer this on a medium heat for about 10 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for that vegetable broth to really incorporate into the dish. In the meantime, let's start getting our piquillo peppers ready, which are basically Spanish style roasted red bell peppers. If you can't find these in your area, you can just use typical jarred roasted red bell peppers. I'm gonna grab five of them, place them over some paper towels, then we'll gently pat them dry And then we'll cut each one into thin strips. I always like to cut off a little bit from the end of the bell pepper. That way as you're cutting your strips, they're not connected together and you end up with shorter strips. All right, let's move back to the butter beans. As you can see, this mixture has really thickened up and that vegetable broth has been absorbed by the beans, giving them a beautiful melt in your mouth texture. For the next step, I'm gonna turn off the heat Add in the chopped piquillo peppers. 
and we'll give this one final mix. That way everything is evenly mixed together. And once again, remember to be gentle here. Otherwise you can easily break those butter beans apart. Then we'll remove the pan from the stove top and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Our Spanish beans with paprika and piquillo peppers are done. This is known here in Spain as alubia escarrafón con pimentón y pimientos del piquillo. Such a beautiful presentation, super easy to make, and the best part, it's all done in just 30 minutes. Truly the kind of dish that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Now this is a dish I cannot wait to try. The aromas in the kitchen are absolutely beautiful. Hopefully it'll be as good as the first time I tried it. Here we go. Even better. The butter beans, you smell it in your mouth as you absorb everything in the pan. And as for the flavors, that sweet smoked Spanish paprika combined with the sherry vinegar and the piquillo peppers is an explosion of so many great flavors. Like seriously, like boom, it's so good. Give this a try at home. You're gonna absolutely love it. Truly one of the best recipes we've ever done here on Spain on a Fork. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Martin Giddings, Aravinda Garimeya, Robert Manahan, Linda Bufano, and Hollis Helmichi. Again guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support Spain on a Fork, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. I am so excited about this dish. Simple ingredients, beautiful looking presentation. Big boy bite. It's so unfair. Give this a try home. You're going to absolutely love it. See you in the next video.